Very exciting footwear. <laughs> it's all about footwear. You like footwear? Show business is footwear. Yeah, I played a character once that had a foot fetish. <laughs> and um, it was mad. I got all these sort of, because it was Sherlock Holmes, so it was supposed to be like early 1900s. Huh. So I got all these um, like case studies from the late 1800s and early 1900s of all these characters who had foot fetishes. Huh. And usually something happened to them around the age of seven or eight. Mm -hmm. Where like one guy was sort of getting sexual favors from the maid, you know, it was obviously <laughs> quite wealthy, you know, family, and the maid used to sort of jerk him off and stuff. And Lovely. Like one day she <laughs> stepped on his cock with her boot, and ever since then it stuck with him. And the only way that he could um, get aroused when he was with his wife, because he goes to the doctor and he's like, I don't, I can't, you know, make love to my wife. Mm -hmm. and I don't know what to do because it's like. Uh, you know, if I c concentrate in the footwear, it's fine. So the, do the doctor was like, you should hang a pair of her shoes on the bedpost <laughs> and concentrate on that. Wow. And so he did, and things improved. Early <laughs> Viagra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a pair of shoes. I don't want to out my nephew, but when he was a baby, he had like a one-year-old, he had a foot fetish, so I don't know. Really? I don't think anybody stepped on anything at that point. No. <laughs> maybe he just, maybe a previous life. <laughs> yeah, I know. He used to sh smell his grandmother's feet. It was very strange. Really? Yeah. I think he grew out of it, but I, haven't, I don't really want to ask, frankly. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> he probably did, because the formative sort of, or isn't there like uh, phases that you go through at a... Yes, at the early the stages. Everything goes in the mouth, mm -hmm. and then there's an anal <laughs> phase. Anyway, let's... <laughs> it's another movie, I think. Yes, exactly. <laughs> We're off track here a little bit. <laughs> We're back into hunger with the anal phase. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Feces. Feces. So <laughs> you're a very bad influence on me, very clearly. Yeah. <laughs> so you're happy. I'm happy. Everybody. Did you expect me to be some miserable. <laughs> well, that's what you, know? <laughs> you suffer in film more than anybody I know. Yeah. Um, yeah. No. It's uh, you know, I, I, you know, uh, taking sort of hunger for example. We had mm -hmm. a lot of fun actually on set. You know, um, contrary to sort of what's what you see on screen. But yeah, I like to I like to have fun. I got a sort of phone call from her that you know she was interested in me playing this part, and um, but that she she has a, had a script. She I mean mm -hmm. there's a definite script written, but that she didn't want to give it to the actors. And, and so on the Friday I would get the scenes for the following week, and uh, we just sort of worked through it like that. And she ca called me up and she said, "Look, you know your part is basically you come into this, you have a." you know, one night stand with this single mother and then you mm -hmm. end up sort of going back and moving into her two-bedroom apartment with her two daughters, one's 15, one's 11. Mm -hmm. So I kind of thought, you know, well, I thought that I was going to sleep with all three of them, actually, to be honest. And, <laughs> um, <laughs> and, uh, I, I, and then sort of, you know... It's a whole I different movie. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I, I, could, I could see what was sort of coming. So I had an idea that, you know, what would happen would happen mm -hmm. or you know and 